Hi everybody, I don't know where you are, but how the weather is, but here it's been rain and gloom for two days. Now that's just about all I can take. You gotta have something happen. So when you live alone, you don't have anybody to talk to except yourself, and I do a lot of that. I'm really good at talking to myself. I get the right answers when I come back. So I got to thinking, I'm going to set my table. I'm going to show my viewers what I do with some of the things I collect. Now, I've learned a lot from another website called Beautiful Table Settings. They have about 122,000 members and they set tables. Tables I've, I've never dreamed of. Some are simple, some are elegant, some are just too much, fabulous, fabulous. But there's so much fun and you learn so much. That's the one thing I can say, I have learned a lot. So today, I'm going to use a few of the things I've collected and I'm going to set a table. Now the table I'm using is an old oak table that had three leaves in it. I've used two leaves because I really don't have space for a large table. I still have my cherry drop leaf table that I love to use, but when I open it out, it's a long table. So I decided I'll stick with my old oak table with the five legs, with the wheels on the legs. And as long as you've got a tablecloth on it, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can make it look country, and I love country. Uh, there's just something about the down-home way. It, it, I think it, it takes me back to my childhood. It takes me back to the way my mother lived and her parents and family lived in the country and I loved the materials and the kitchen things that they used. So I'm going to get started here. I don't want to spend too much time just talking, but I want you to get a view of my table that I've done for you today. Let me turn this a little bit. Whoops. And it just falls off. You'll know what happened. I had it I've got it sitting up on top of a big box. Now, I hope you can get a good view of that. I've done a combination of things here. My uh, centerpiece is the long oval platter that I bought recently at an estate sale for $5. It's huge, it's beautiful, and I couldn't find any way to use it or to display if unless I ha was having a big dinner and could do a neat platter. <clears throat> so what I did with that, I filled it through with lemons and I set another vase down in it to give it a little height that needed, needed more, needed a little floral look. So I filled up a little vine, a little berry and a few small lemons and some Flowers. Now these are artificial, but I work with artificial flowers a lot, and I've been doing flower arrangements as long as I can remember. I love to do flower arrangements. So I want to get started here. Now, what I have done, I've co combined my independent dishes. Let me show you. You see this? This is my eight-sided independent dish. I have all kinds of these, all sizes. It kind of has so many parts to it. With that, I'm using yellow and blue. My tablecloth, as you can see, and I'm gonna lean this forward a little so you can see the edge of the tablecloth. Here, got lemons on it. Now, you see what I've done? 
I've got my place mat in blue and white plaid. Then I've used my yellow old Fiesta plates. On top of that is my Independence bread plate. This is what you call the berry bowl. It's my, my favorite piece in the, the, old, the old Fiesta dishes. Now I don't have the new dishes. I work with just the old one. With that, I added this beautiful Waterford crystal. That's what that is. This is my glass. And as you can see, everything is coming up lemons. This is the kitchen craft dark blue glasses. This is the water glass. This one today is serving as a lemonade glass. Now I'm going to go around the table to show you the things that I've used. You can use anything you want to. You can mix whatever you like. And this is what I've done. First, I want to show you. See my little, this is the cigarette lighter that came with the independent dishes back in the 40s and 50s. Love that piece. With that, if this, this is supposed to be an ashtray, but I consider it just sort of a, um, little dish, bone dish, whatever you want to use it for. Now this is something you're going to like. This is the kind of dishes the small restaurants used to use, this heavy ware, and these were creamers. Each person that ordered coffee got a creamer to go with her coffee. I only have three of these. I've had these many years and I just love them. I'd love to have a large set of them. But that is sitting in the little dish. And this little dish will serve a purpose. Here we have the teapot, the Fiesta teapot. Now with that is the Fiesta nappy with lemon slices. You may wonder what this is supposed to be. This is what you call your sugar water. Now you know how that works. You heat your water, add your sugar to it, and you fill that up. And what you can do with that is Pour it into, whoop, there went my lemon. You can pour it into this little creamer. And when you want added sugar to your tea or to your lemonade, you've got it. You can sweeten it as much as you want to. Over here is another nappy. This is just one I picked up at home goods. I happen to like it and it's got cookies on it. I needed to put something on so you got cookies today. They got macadamia nuts in them and I love those. Here is a nice lemon cookie jar. It's very useful. It's got a very tight lid and you fill that with cookies. On around, you've got to have a candle, at least one candle. And I only had one candle like this. You see how pretty that is? And this, of course, is an artificial light, but it's working for my purpose. And I thought it would go well with the table setting. I'm coming on around. 
and this is actually a coffee pot, the Estuaire coffee pot. But today it's serving as a lemonade pot. This is where the lemonade will be poured into the Waterford Crystal glasses. I got these glasses and they've got a, two different sizes. The lady was having an estate sale. Really wasn't for her. She told me her brother-in-law's grandmother had collected these things. I was called by a friend. You need to go. So I called the lady and I went to see what she had in her estate sale. I'm telling you, I was never so surprised. The length of my dining area and living room, she had three long folding tables covered with glassware. I had never seen so much. That's where I got this glass, Waterford Crystal. I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid, but you would have bought them too. Here we have, a, it is, it's just a glass, but we've got the stirrers, this little pineapple on top. This you can use to stir your lemonade or your tea once you've added your sugar to it. Now the silverware, I think I paid $10 for this silverware. I want to I want you to get a closer look at it. It's not uh, sterling silver or anything. Whoops. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm using my little napkin lady today. She works perfect. So here, I'm looking down on the silverware, I can't see very well. But here is what it looks like. It's got the yellow handles. It's mm -hmm. perfect for this setting. And I added two Fiesta Ware. Where am I? Okay, here we go. Fiesta Ware salt shakers in case they need it because who knows what's going to go in that plate i haven't decided what would be good to serve now let's see if i can get this back on here without it turning over i think i did yeah that'll work okay i'll move this back a little bit because i want the entire table to be seen now, I hope you like what I've done here. I put the two, only two place settings and I wanted them close together because it's a convenience for me when I start removing these things from the table because this is not the only table setting you're going to see. I've got another one and you stick with me while I remove all of the silverware from the table. I'm going to surprise you with another pretty table. Now, I'll move these all. what I'm doing. I'm moving them from the table. She goes off. Little creamers, salt shakers, all of this stuff is being removed. to have to do it this way but I don't know any other way to do it. This goes back in the cabinet 
where it was. The teapot goes back in the cabinet. Can't remember where it was sitting. I think I took it. So we'll go to the other side and see if we can't find a place for it. Yes, it's going back into my yes to where cabinet. The little blue kitchen grab glasses also go back in the yes to where cabinet. I know you're enjoying this, but if you're not, I am. There's one thing about my videos that you've probably never seen or at least noticed. I work barefoot. I never, I never have my shoes on. I just have made a habit of working in the house or going without my shoes. And that can get to be a bad habit in a way. Off come my placemats. I'm just going to put it right down in this chair for convenience. These come off. And the candle comes off. I've got one more thing. Let me put that there. This is so large and it's very heavy. So I just don't want to stumble. Okay, here you see my tablecloth with the lemon trim. We're going to remove this tablecloth. You can watch me as I fold it. I bought this at Home Goods. It's not an old one but I have a collection of old ones that you're going to love. And one day I'm going to show you my linens. They are just a treasure. And any, any woman would be thrilled to have them. Now, get this folded up so it'll go back in the big box that I keep my tablecloths in. Now, we're going to do another table setting. You see what I've got here? This is an old, old tablecloth. You can see what it looks like. It's got a few stains on it, but I think those stains can be removed. Now, I decided I wanted a little lighter touch to this. So I got out my, one of my little square tablecloth. You can see the embroidery and the crochet type trim. We're gonna start with another table setting. I'm going to do this for a centerpiece. I, I bought this when a jewelry gift shop in my hometown was going out of business. And I spotted this sw swan decorated dish and I had to have it. Now that was about 42 years ago. It's a beautiful little piece. 
I'm using it because I don't want something too high when you are sitting at a dinner table. You want to be able to see the person across the table from you. So that's why I'm using this. Now, Next, I'm going to set the table. With a charger, you know what chargers are. Everybody knows what chargers are. The Hobby Lobby sell them by the gross, I think. Now, we're going to put plate and a small salad plate and I want to tell you about these I'm going to put these at each end of the table since the flower arrangement won't interfere this is why you should go to yard sales flea markets thrift shops, Goodwill, whatever. Because I never owned a piece of china or a piece of crystal until the last couple of years. Now I showed you the Waterford crystal. That's something that every, everyone that liked to decorate wants Waterford crystal. I paid two dollars for each glass. Can't be that. Can't. Now, I was in Louisville, Kentucky with my daughter and granddaughter. They're looking at all, who knows what they were looking at. And I spotted a box of dishes on the floor. I have to show you up close. This is Limoges from France. It's very delicate. It's shiny. It's got the platinum edge around it. It looks like it's never been used. And the pattern is called Peach Blossom. It's got very creamy background. That's why I wanted to use this tablecloth. It's for because it, it's got a soft look to it. Now, here goes the little bread plate. And you're going like this. These are some of the napkins I got at the estate sale. Take a look at how beautiful that is. What is my napkin ring? Take a good guess. It's a stretch bracelet. And it looks beautiful as a napkin ring, as you can see. The other one is different. Of course, they're all going to be different because I'm not going to have a whole set of bracelets just alike. But you see what? This is a bracelet. There's the napkin. And this is your table setting. From there, we have our glasses. Fastoria, American Fastoria, water glass, wine or tea glass. I need to get another one out. I only have one out. Okay, let's see. Here's one. And here's the other. We'll put these at this end of the table. 
thing is a beautiful day, a crystal. If you're wondering how long I've had that, I've been collecting that in the last two years, one piece at a time. And I bought them at a Goodwill store, here and there, wherever I happen to be. And I'm talking about 99 cents each or $1.99, whichever the store priced it. Um, these are beautiful glasses, and I have lots of phosphoria pieces. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do next. Here are my little Dutch boy and Dutch girl. I treasure these. They were given to me by my sister just before she died. I never went in her house that I didn't look at them and wish I had them. So she was 99 years old. She knew her time was limited. And she would ask, is there anything you would like to have? And I said, yes, I want the little Dutch boy and the little Dutch girl. And she said, take them home with you. So there they are. Next, this is a little dessert dish, and you see these, these were given to me on my birthday, and they had different designs, I just got two out because that's all I needed, they're little Dimitas spoons. So I put one at each place setting. Let's see what's next. Okay, we've got to have the cup and saucer. I'll put the cup and saucer over on this side. We've got more room. The nice thing about table setting is you can do what you want to. You don't have to follow any rules because you're the one setting the table and it's your choice. And sometimes we're using things that don't work like the tradition says. You can see how pretty, how pretty the cups are, very dainty. I felt like I had come into a treasure when I found those dishes, Limoges, from France. Now, we will naturally have dessert plates. And these are serving utensils. I have to set the table with the silverware I found years ago in an estate sale. It's very simple, but I like it that way. You can see what I'm doing for each one. I'll go to the other end and do the other one. I hope you can see this coming together, how nice it looks. It's going to be very elegant. And this is one of those where you're saying, dress for the occasion. Don't want anybody coming in my house in tennis shoes and blue jeans when I set a table like this. I want them prepared for a nice dinner. Now let's see where we go from here. Ah, uh, this, this is the picture my daughter bought for me when she went out west. 
And that was just about a year or so ago. And she saw it and she says, oh, mom would love that picture. Well, it was a little more than she wanted to pay. And the clerk said, it's half price today. So she got the picture and brought it home to me. That's a good daughter. Uh, this is something you're going to love. And I have to be very, very careful. I hope you can see that. I'm going to scoot it back a little bit. So that you can see it better. Now, I put those in a circle on one of my Fostoria platters. And this is something else you have to see. They're so tiny, so delicate. These are salt cellars. I've got 12 of them. They're just beautiful and I handle them with care. Those you can set on each side of your table with salt. We need candlelight. Got to have candlelight. I'm not going to light the candles, but you can see, and I want you to see how pretty they are. Now, that's just about covers this table arranging. It's simple, very simple. But I want to tell you one thing about, what did I do with the plate? I have a plate here somewhere. Probably dropped it in the floor. Okay. What I wanted to tell you was, if you want to arrange your cups and saucers like this, try to use a plate that has a lip around the edge because it's very easy for these little cups to fall off the edge and you want the handle down on the outside. I want you to see this up close. Can you see it? How beautiful it is. And I'm gonna show you the saucer that goes with it. I've never seen anything prettier than this. And I am handling them with extreme care. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you. My mother used to have candle holders like this in the old days, and I'm talking about 70 and 80 years ago. These were the kind of candle holders she had. And I had been looking for the double candle holders and priced a little too much. And I finally found this one one day. And I said, that's what I want. Well, I decided I needed a pair where could I find another candle holder like that? I even showed it on beautiful table settings for the members in case they came across something like this to let me know because I wanted a matching set. Well, one day I was at Goodwill looking around and I about finished and I'm going to Peddler's Mall. 
I had been there and I saw a book that had, oh, at least eight or ten sets of candle holders that were double candle holders. Now, they didn't match this. But I'm thinking, I'll go back. Maybe, maybe they'll have this one. If they don't, I'll buy a set of another pattern. Just before I left Goodwill, I looked up on the shelf and the first thing that caught my eye was this. I had my matching candle holders. $6.99. Now you know I had to buy it. So now I've got my set of candle holders and I think they're beautiful. If you look, you can find. From time to time, I'm going to show you some of my dishes and the things I've collected. Um, that little set you see right there, oh, I've had it a long time, about 30 years, I guess. And one day my shoulder came up on the bottom shelf and they fell to the floor. I just panicked. It was a 12 place setting. I had broken one cup and about four or five little dessert plates and saucers. I just sat down and cried. That's all I knew to do because I love those. They're made in Italy. The pattern is called Tuscan. No, the Tuscan set, but the pattern is called Plant, P-L-A-N-T. And I just think they're beautiful. So that's the kind of things I pick up now and then. Um, I do it for my pleasure. Don't, I don't care what other people think. I don't care what family thinks about how many I've got, how much I've got. I've got it because I want it. I like it. And I'm sure that that's why you buy shoes. You buy them because you like them. I do that too. So anyway, from time to time, I'm going to show you more table settings if you want to see them. You may not, it may not interest you at all, but you see what I've showed you today. You see the difference in the two sets. This would be for a very lovely tea or evening dinner. The other set could be for breakfast it could be for brunch or lunch, and it's colorful. I like colorful things. I don't know what else I can tell you about this. I like this tablecloth. I think it, it, it's unique, and I really like it. So when I decide to set an, another table, I take all of the place settings off, I just take another tablecloth, put it on over the one that's already on the table, and that way at least I've got a place to store the tablecloth. So I'm glad you're with me today. I hope you are enjoying the the shows or my show and tell, you might say. Um, I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy sharing it with with people. And I hope you enjoy watching. So today, that's my program. And now I can go back and watch the rain. Maybe I'll find something good on television. 
and I'll start working on another YouTube video. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate my viewers. I've received several wonderful comments. They make me feel so good. Keep them coming. Share my videos with your friends and see if they won't subscribe to the channel as well. So I'll see you next time. Yes, you know I'm having problems with my clicker, don't you?